Good morning. In this lecture, I'd like to describe to you our experience using MR imaging to evaluate the acute abdomen. Now, these are going to be patients who present from the emergency room, and there are indeed a whole host of potential etiologies of this abdominal pain, including acute appendicitis, acute peptic ulcer disease, cholecystitis, pancreatitis, intestinal ischemia, diverticulitis, ectopic pregnancy, acute peritonitis, bowel perforation, ureterocolic, bowel and acute pyonephritis. And in truth, as you and I know, this list could be three or four times longer. And these are the types of diagnoses that we need to be responsible for when these patients present to us with acute abdominal pain. I think it's easiest to really think about this in terms of the anatomic localization uh, to consider what the different etiologies might be. So we're gonna look at the different quadrants as well as the pelvis. The most important thing to realize and to recall is that you need to be very efficient. And you can do this with abdominal MRI. This is uh, images that were performed on a very old scanner, probably two or three decades old. And we performed essentially abdominal and pelvic imaging, 1400 images in 14 breath holds, and it took only 14 minutes to do this. And this is entirely a very comprehensive study, T1, T2, multiple planes, pre and post gadolinium, and diffusion-weighted imaging. So with very efficient imaging, you can get them to answer quickly. Now, as an overview, we're going to look at the different anatomic areas, epigastric and right upper quadrant pain, left upper quadrant pain, diffuse abdominal pain, right lower quadrant, left lower quadrant, and then the pelvic or flank pain. Let's begin in the upper abdomen, epigastric and right upper quadrant. So the potential causes of pain in this anatomic area would include cholecystitis, pancreatitis, peptic ulcer disease, gastritis or duodenitis, biliary obstruction, and always, always remember tumor. Tumor should always be in your differential for patients presenting with pain. Well, here's a clinical case. A 55-year-old came into the emergency room with upper abdominal pain. We have T1 and T2 showing an abnormal gallbladder and a gallstone. We have the early and delayed post-scat imaging showing some enhancement of the gallbladder wall. And we have diffusion on the left with a B value of 800 demonstrating this abnormal line of enhancement or rather a line of restricted diffusion representing the gallbladder wall. The MRCP was performed as well, which demonstrates the abnormal pericholecystic fluid. Now, the features of acute cholecystitis are shown here. You need to have diffusion with abnormal restricted diffusion in the wall and the surrounding pericholecystic tissues. And on your arterial face post-GAD, you'd like to see abnormal enhancement of the gallbladder wall, as well as this halo of enhancement. You're not gonna see every finding on all patients, but these are the findings which should convince you that you're looking at acute